Okay, cool. So go on. All right, so the Iroquois establishes federations so they can compete with the Huron people, right? right? And their establishment was a republic of nations where the Iroquois from the center swole and would absorb um, outlying tribes, right? They were kind of warlike. Any yeah. human being tribe that wasn't warlike to uh, some degree was, um, let's just say, not here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> good, good way of putting it. Right? Yeah. So, um, so they, um, with the exception of the one, um, so the Iroquois part of this federation, right? Yeah. And they have a, a prophet, right? Native Americans had their own prophet, right? Yeah. And it was, uh, uh yeah, what was his name? God. There were two of them. So that's got to one. Anyway. So the prophet said, well, look, as long as the people are at peace, well, as long as the, 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 the tribal elders are in conversation, in tribal council, the people are at peace, awaiting the word, right? And it's great. Life is fine. But whenever the chiefs go back to their own tribe, eventually something else comes up and they have to go back to council, right? Mm -hmm. So his idea was, well, why don't you guys start this permanent council, right? Where there's always somebody representing the tribe, mm -hmm. right? And why don't y'all do this? And that's what began the Zero Qua Federation, right? Which was, was this tribal council. And I think the, the, the guy was actually from a Huron Indian that came south and, and actually started the Zero Qua Federation. Okay, so when did the French... <laughs> when did the French when did, come in? Yeah, yeah, when All they right, come so into the play. the French okay. into the picture in uh, Nova Scotia or uh, what was fishing grounds, right? Mm -hmm. So the fishing grounds, as the Europeans outgrew their populations, uh, there was a small, um, there was this small uh, ice age that wiped out a bunch of crops, right? So potato famines happening about this time and the French are leaving and they're, they're going further west. The further west they go, the longer it takes to get back to port. Mm -hmm. So the further west they have to go to catch fish because they're overfishing their populations of fish. They have to go even further to sea. And the further to sea they go, the longer it takes for them to come back, right? Mm -hmm. And when they come back, their fish is starting to spoil, right? So they eventually find the coast of Canada, right? And it was some of the best cod fishing around. Mm -hmm. Even sure. to this day, it's sure. some of the best cod fishing sure. around, sure. right? Yep. So they stopped to smoke their fish for the voyage back. Yeah, and right. when they did, well... In French, the pillar of smoke is called la boucou. Okay. And someone who particularly excels at something, right, is uh, le boucou, right, or le connoisseur, right? Connoisseur, connoisseur. that's going to say that, yeah. So a smoker would be a le boucou, right? Okay. Well, the Anglo corruption to that is <laughs> the buccaneers, right? Oh, okay, interesting. Right. And, wow. Yeah. So there, it's a mar maritime communities, right, because of these fishing communities, they're maritime. Mariners, okay. Mariners, 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 um, and not often did uh, the ladies cross the ocean on these voyages. You know what I mean? Um, go be clear on that. The the ladies did what? Ladies didn't always cross the ocean for those fishing voyages, right? Okay, here are. They'd right. be at home. Here we go. All right, here right, we go. Right. So when they come in, gotcha. They contact with the. Uh, with the Mi'kmaq Indians. With the Indians, gotcha. The Mi'kmaq Indians, right? Oh, okay, there we so go. So they there start, um, and everywhere the French go, you have what they call Le Curieux du Bois, the runners of the woods, Le Curieux du Bois. Okay. The runners of the woods, and uh, well, you know, everywhere they went, these were woodsmen, right? Yep. And um, they became the interpreters between the natives and the French because they were the ones that would marry into the native tribes, into native women, Okay. right? And and they would interpret for the French and the Native American people, right? They were part of the people too. They had married one of their daughters. The man's gonna fight for his son. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If it, it's a good man, you will be with him. No matter what color of greed he is. If he's a, a man that's gonna last through the years, you're gonna have to, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Eventually. So there you go. I mean, the whole marrying of, of kings and queens of Spain, right? Because it's the whole same thing happening, you know what I mean? 
It's all yeah, about yeah. uniting humanity. It's a beautiful right. story, actually. It so, is. Is. when the um, French get there, right, they settle, and sooner or later... But but let me, uh, sorry to interrupt, but let me ask you, um, the, the French are... Maybe this is a modern thing, but they always are, you know, snobbish and they have an air about them and aristocratic. Um, um, is there is there something to them, the mingling, the commingling um, with with Indians who may not be, you know, held in, in such high regards, being that the way they live. I mean, I mean, of course they have respect for them. They're they're a fierce, you know, people. But in terms of you know how developed they are, and whatnot, how did that play with you know? You know how did it play out? You know the the French. You know they're you know sophisticated. They're, they're aristocrats, the French, and you know well well no. I mean they're you know they're, they're you know they're highbrow people. You know what I mean? Um, you know the way they live life. They they think from they're the, above. From yeah. The, from the uh, urban legends. Well, I mean you know. I, I, I mean I mean it, I mean it is I mean it is urban legend, but I'm sure it, it's been that's been for 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 generations. You know. Or maybe, or maybe not. Well, <laughs> maybe I don't know. It just, it just seems odd to me. A French, you know, the French mink commingling with with Indians at such a frequent, you know, you know, with such, such a frequent, you know, level that uh, I don't know. It just seems, just seems hard to me to to reconcile the two notions, like the French. Here we are, the French, you know, the aristocrats, and we have an air. We have a we thumb our nose at everybody, and we have an air about them, and they're. Well, I don't know this. about the French or France. Yeah. Right. Because those those are the French French. Because I don't France, know, French. you know. Yeah. I mean, right. 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 I don't know about the French or France. Right. I mean, I know that they built an Eiffel Tower to the city of love in right. Paris, which right. has legend. Your accent is very French. The you, love that destroyed. The that's why. That's Empire. why I asked. Were you born in Louisiana? You, you, you born sound, and raised. You sound French, man. Yeah, you got man. a heavy French accent. I work in the media. <laughs> anyway, anyway, so um, anyway, yeah, man, I don't know nothing about French and France. Okay, all right. but I do know that the French and France enjoy um, the Native Americans. Well, yeah, okay. let's just say the latest fashion. Oh, the latest fashion. Oh, definitely, right. definitely for that. And furs when they came into fashion, the okay. French. Okay. Would most definitely oh, oh my God! Fashion. And the razors that the French were were clean shaven. Were they not? Most probably so. Yeah. So they were now. They're they're very particular on their, on their, their shape. I remember hearing that in history. Their hygiene. Hygiene, yes, absolutely. Right. The Spanish men, not so much. You know not so mean? much. They were a little bit more, more unkept, you know. Yeah. No, I. Who cares about air conditioning? I'm really enjoying the story, man. All right. So yeah, man. I don't know about that, but I know the French <laughs> like to trade, right? Yeah. They, they, and yeah. The that's French are businessmen. Yeah. We right? can agree on that. They like to trade, and they are. And let's just say they're clean-shaven faces. <laughs> let's just say that's um. I don't know, man. Maybe one of the greatest developments of society through the ages. You know, the Bronze Age. Right. The the, the Copper Age, the Bronze Age. Right. The, the Iron Age, right? Right, right, right? So guess what? Hey, man, the natives dig that kind of shit. They Especially did. The now they did. Guns, didn't... bang, bang. Okay, well, I know they, I know they like the guns, but they track a stick, thunderbolt. They guns. like them furs and stuff. I don't know. See, what happened was the United States was about as wild and as bountiful as the Amazon jungle is today, three, four hundred years ago, right? So imagine the beauty and the bounty of a wild forest. Some of the trees ancienting back to two thousand years. Especially in the Louisiana swamp, hell, you go into the desert, they come back to 5,000 years, mm -hmm. you know? Grizzly cold pine, you know? But anyway, that's how old this place was, right? And the animals loved it. The people loved the animals, right? But anyway, metal came around. When metal came around, white boys came around. When white boys came no. around. Shit, black men came around oh, oh, as their okay. freaking slaves. Right. So, that's pretty crazy. Mm -hmm. Anyway, for the natives of, let's just say, um, territory, it's a good thing that they didn't really have to deal with these men. Because they were back in Europe enjoying all the fresh, luxurious furs of the wild men of the forest can get to them, right? Mm -hmm. So their world was a bit more pure, right? 
Yeah. Just being on the outside edge of the chaos, you are gonna be a little bit more pure of what you were made from before you got to the chaos, right? Mm -hmm. So that's what's going on, right? So these men who love the forest just as much, they don't quite understand the city, but the city does offer them, uh, you know, a livelihood to grow on. Okay. Right? So they keep the city around and stay close enough to the city and they uh, do their thing in the woods, right? <laughs> and that's what's happening, right? Right. So these people build these levee systems to control the floodwaters in the Bay of Fundy because the Bay of Fundy rides 40 feet a day twice. And when the water's in, you got a salt marsh bay. When it's out, you got marsh. Mm. I mean, uh, like, like a salt marsh. Anyway, so what the Acadian, or what the French did, they brought some of the best Dutch technology. They um, built levees, dikes, and um, these one-way valves which allowed them to turn a saltwater mud flat into a freshwater field in the course of five years. Um, through mm. that course of five years, you're actually uh, farming for uh, salt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you're drying the marsh, right? Interesting. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. So you can all just delicious flavor food. That must have been revolutionary. Salt, man, back in those days, that food must have been bland. <laughs> My God. <laughs> to get salt, that's like electricity to, you know, to our modern Fire. Era. Yeah, like whatever. Electricity, TV, whatever. <laughs> wow. Right. Salt in those days, wow. Right, exactly. That's why dropping the salt is bad luck. Dropping the salt is bad no luck. You ain't, you, got no salt. you ain't got no friends. You ain't got no friends to lose that salt, on. right? You ain't got no fucking salt. <laughs> you ain't gonna be nowhere without that salt, man. Try eating that fish without that salt. That meat without that salt. That's right. Man. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go, right? Yeah, it's good stuff. And then uh, when they're there, they um, they decide to rename the place mm. of Micmac Territory, Micmac Frenchman. Okay. And when they renamed it, they renamed it. Akandi, after this Greek utopia found in old world Europe that had these rolling hills and fountains and springs. Okay. And um, the is that like is that like utopia? That's yeah, kind of. Yeah, yeah, okay. Right. And uh, they they renamed the place because it was paradise. For them. Okay. And uh, they had their own land to farm. They had a relationship with the natives. Mm -hmm. which had these nice furs. Cool. Right. They had. There, but I'm talking about okay. But I'm talking about the kid, the 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 French and like Lafayette and Borough Bridge, all right that. There. Okay, okay. Right. So um. So there you go. Right. Mm -hmm. So they're happy, and the French come around. And they're like warring with the freaking British, mm -hmm. of course, right? The yeah. Tit for tattle. Oh my God. Are, right. So Are they some ever? of the merchants leave, oh, wow. go down the St. Lawrence into the Hudson. Uh, mm. Through the Hudson into the St. Lawrence. Hudson, okay. right, and then farm what we know as today's Quebec. Quebec. Very hired good. Native American guys to take them down the Great Father of Waters that led to this Great Southern Sea, because at this time the Roman Catholic Empire was in chaos and turmoil, and some freaking pope started a great freaking crusade. To gain this holy land back to keep the Roman Empire united, right? That's so the Ottoman Empire says, Well, geez, don't think so. We cutting you off, cutting you off. All that gunpowder you're getting from China, cutting you off, mm. right? Tell it, man, tell it, brother. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like your passion, man. Go for it. So, so right, so all these European. Lustful, glorious bastards. I right. love them so much. Yeah. Their right. ancestors. Right. Anyway, they start looking for this western passage because at this time, you know, Columbus is, you know, going off of some pretty common knowledge. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. The world ain't flat. Ain't flat. He broke that wow. knowledge, man. It's round. Right. People in a stir. That was scandalous stuff, man. So that was. Columbus that was one, the only he one. shook up the world with that one. Right, so he wasn't the only one going west, right? Mm -hmm. The British were already here. They were moving west 